Are we really going to take the word of peasants and travelers? I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need for her arrangements, you need but ask. They'll be... I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope, seems... cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. Used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Erend, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious. Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. Able-bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. This is the place. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. I'll shut up. 
place. It must be leaking from something upstairs. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a That's a lot storm. of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Ugh. Best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Duval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. Let's have a chat. No, a colorful discussion. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. I wish I could be there to see this. <sighs> then we do it the hard way. Oh! Uh! Head down, boys! Uh! 
Be with them soon enough. of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father, so I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Something's wrong. It, it didn't... I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No! It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner! You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Contact! Why does Avad? Always have his ladies do the fucking. I've led an army, killed kestrels and ravagers. Nothing. Can we finish this? I've got a sound god to kill. yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Who, me? If you can get a machine to do it for you. Ah! Those majestic, murderous glint hawks!
As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you. <laughs> 